Apple updated the Mail app in the latest macOS Mojave. And in that update, they removed the stationary feature in Mac Mail. And I've been using that feature for a long time now to create reusable email templates that I send over and over again. And now that that feature's gone, what do you do? Well, I've come up with something that I think works really well. At least it has been for me. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's take a look. All right, step one, we need to create an email message just like this. And this is going to be our template. So fill out the content, the to, the CC, the subject, all of this is going to be your template. So I've already got a message ready to paste in here and customize. So what you can do here is, you know, make this bold. You can change colors, format this however you want. You can even add pictures in here and um, it will be part of your template. Okay, so once you get this to where you're comfortable and it's what you want, you're ready to save it. And that's the next step. So step two, let's save this. To do that, you can just close the window and hit save. Easy enough so far. All right, step three. Now we need to create a folder to store these templates because they're not gonna live in our drafts folder forever. So I've already created one. And all you need to do to create a new folder is go to mailbox and then new mailbox and create a new folder, call it templates. All right, that's step three. Step four is once you've got that templates folder ready to go, you take the draft that you just saved and drag it down into that folder, all right? Now, if I click on templates, you can see here, I've got that one that I just pulled over here and then I've got several here, uh, just other templates that are ready for me to go. So step five, real easy, find the template you want, right click on it and hit send again. And what that does is it basically pops up the email uh, like a template and you can customize this as you wish. So you can you know, send it to whoever you want. Um, and a quick little tip here, I use square brackets just as an indicator for me uh, for content that I wanna replace in my templates. So I would remove the subject to make it something a little bit more meaningful and uh, replace the other square brackets in here. And then that's it. Once you've got it ready to go and ready to send to someone, hit send and that's it. So quick and easy, real uh, great way to save some time on those emails that you send over and over again. All right, so one more thing. How do you edit these templates that are in the templates folder? Well, here's the easiest way. If you just right click on this message or any one of these templates and say, move to the drafts folder. So if I take this one, move it over to the drafts folder, it puts it back in the drafts area. And then from here, I can actually edit the folder because it's, it's considered a draft. For, uh, for whatever reason, you can't edit anything down in the, uh, in the folder you created. So once you, you know, do this, it's the same process as before. Edit your template, uh, close it, save it, and then drag it back down to the templates folder. So quick and easy. And then that way you can go back in here and send again. So hey, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button below and share in the comments your own Apple Mail tips. It would be great to hear from you on some of the things that you're doing to be more productive in Apple Mail. Thanks for watching.